I want to tell you, you know, that the love of God is available to set you free from anything that would try and hold you back. You know, um, <laughs> how great is the love of our Father? You know, the enemy loves to try and accuse us and say, you haven't really forgiven, you haven't really forgiven. But, you know, the love of God that it talks about in, in 1 Corinthians is, that, is love that actually keeps no record of wrongs, that doesn't go over and over in, in your head and replaying what they've done over and over. But the love of God is available to such an extent that you can actually, by the power of God, take the thoughts captive when the enemy comes and tries to replay it to you. I, I used to have a videotape that the enemy would try, come and try and put in every night as I'd put my head on the pillow. There he'd be with the video. Let's think about this. And I'd get so uptight and I couldn't sleep. But, you know, until I finally I, I came to the place, this was over an issue, some, some things that had happened and, um, you know, I, I got up one night and I said, right, I've had enough of this. I'm not going to think about this stuff anymore. What, what this does is not, it's not pure and lovely and of a good report. All it does is it stirs me up so that I want to write a speech and tell them what I think and tell them what they did and make them remember. You know, I think what you did was great. That was a wonderful thing. This was a different thing. This was me like... <laughs> but, you know... I got up one night and I said, I've had enough, God. I don't want this anymore. I was depressed. I was, uh, and I was having a great big pity party. And so I wrote out on a piece of paper, Lord, I forgive such and such. And I forgive this person. And I forgive this person. And I put it on a piece of paper and I said, Lord, by your help, Lord, you've forgiven me. So you've given me love, Lord God, to be able to forgive them. And I forgive them, Father. And I took that piece of paper and I put it in my drawer. And then the next night when the enemy came in and said, you haven't really forgiven them. Let's think about what they did. I got out of bed. I opened my drawer, got my piece of paper, and I said, have so. Got back into bed and went to sleep. And you know, you have to go to war sometimes with what God's done. You know, I used to have people um, over over different issues. You know, I was uh, abused as a child and stuff, and and people would always love to try and as soon as they'd find that out, they'd like, oh, you need my special counselling. You need my special help and my special, oh, but you might think you're free, but oh, no, I need to give you some more of my special deliverance. And, you know, you need to come to this special place. And it's like, oh, I'm not going to stay a victim all my life. Uh, no, Lord, the Lord has truly, really, deeply, wonderfully set me free. And I'm not going to buy your stuff, whatever you're selling. I'm sorry. Thank you for wanting to help. But I actually, I really am free. And, you know, sometimes even Christians find that hard to believe. That God really, really? Like, are you sure? Like, can't we just dig a little deeper just in case? It's like, no, really, 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 really free. <laughs> And, you know, I, I believe that God does do ongoing works. And, and there, there'll be times when God will begin to do something in your life where he'll bring something up and you'll go, I didn't even realize that was there. But, you know, you don't have to go digging for it. The Holy Ghost will bring that up at the right time. And in his presence, he'll bring that up. And as that starts to surface, it's just an invitation from the Holy Ghost. Do you want to give that up to me and get free? And, uh, and it's a wonderful thing. It's good, hey?